today I'll be talking about the Hummingbird Rotor Machine. Let me go through and identify the pieces on the machine. You got your motor, your swing adjustment knob, your bearing, your needle stabilizer, and your vise. Now I'm going to talk about the swing adjustment knob located here. This is where you adjust the swing of your machine from 3.2 millimeters to 3.5. I also recommend lubricating your bearing as well as tightening the bearing. When you tighten down this bearing, should you look on the side, just do a little snug hand tight. Don't really crank down too much. I've already pre-loosened it because I want to show you. If you ever have to change your motor, you would have to loosen the bearing first, and then you just do a quick twist, and your motor comes out. That way, it's very simple to change out your motor. Twist it back in, line up your bearing, and then just go ahead and place it back on. There you go. This machine does not require a rubber band because it has a needle bar stabilizer. You basically turn this counterclockwise and it lowers the wheel down putting pressure on your loop bar. This is why you do not need a rubber band for this machine. If you're also interested, we do have an upgraded stabilizer which is made out of brass which actually makes the machine run smoother and last longer. The Hummingbird running machine is smooth and silent. As I'm running the machine, I can adjust the swing of it by just turning the adjustment knob. This machine really has the power to pack in lines, also great for packing in color and shading.